So today we're going to try to measure our MPG through the gas tank and not just through the meter. So first up, I need to top off my gas tank. All right, so I just got gas and I topped it off and I'm about ready to go on a long trip. And what I'm going to do is I want to test how accurate this 20... 42.7 miles per gallon meter is and I'm gonna try to I'm gonna reset everything take my long trip and refill the gas tank to see um, based on the gas tank how much gas I, I consumed and what my MPG actually was so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down and reset all values and that is not just going to reset my trip but it's also going to reset my um, MPG. See, it's zero now and my miles is zero. So we're going to use that data and we're going to compare it to what I calculate by how much gas I consume. A long drive later, I couldn't make it all the way to Cal Poly, San Luis Obispo and back, but I made it to Cal Poly and then around Santa Barbara and I needed to get some gas. All right, stopping for gas at the Costco gas station. Just got off an all freeway miles trip. And we're going to use this data to calculate how much MPG I'm getting. So it took 11.756 gallons to refill it to where it was topped off again. And I'm going to use that number for my calculations. All right, doing some math, the car meter read 37.1 miles per gallon. I traveled 404.9 miles. Gas used is 11.756 gallons. So for my calculations, I got 34.44 miles per gallon, which is definitely lower than the, the car's reading of 37.1. So from that, um, the car is reading around 1.077 times too high. So that's roughly 8% higher than the actual value. So I think the Ford's meter is a little bit optimistic, and I suspected that, and I think a lot of... Uh, People suspected that the meter was a little optimistic, uh, but according to my, my measurements, it is indeed 8% too high. 